on the house, but these readings got me attached, so let me just do two more. Here we go. If somebody could have got attached to you, you get in a relationship, two of cups, whoever I'm talking to. <laughs> okay, so somebody was been supposed, somebody is like, aw, two of cups. So somebody in a relationship, somebody new on the line, in the scenes, on, on the scenes. Y'all attached to one another. Aww. Child, let me tell y'all something. I said I was not going to bring this energy and I bit my mouth. This is why I, the spirit be wanting me to speak up more, but I be scared, y'all. I be so fucking scared. Sometimes I'm like about to lie right now. Like, yes, I'm strong. Yes, I'm independent. Blase, blase. That shit be coming some bullshit at the end of the day because I feel like every woman wants to feel protected. Every woman, but you know, it's just like that shit. I be like, I'ma shut the fuck up. You feel me? Sometimes I don't fucking got time for this shit <laughs> because I just don't got time. But I looked over as I'm trying to get these cards shuffled up some more. Although they just shuffled in a big ass stack, I gotta show y'all because I said I was gonna show every reading, and these are all the cards mumble and jumbled in between one another. And I'm just randomly picking them. But anyway, some cards be showing themselves, and y'all know how it be when the cards be showing themselves if you just deal with cards at home or you're a reader, or whatever. But, um, are you just watching me? Because I realize sometimes in my readings, if you actually watch me, some some cards be showing themselves to y'all that I don't be seeing and picking up on, like when I'm shuffling my cards. And when y'all see that, it means something to y'all. It ain't just showing itself for no reason. It's showing itself for a reason, okay? I'm just not seeing. Because sometimes certain things is not for me to see as well, too. Y'all know that. And it's like with certain readings, certain information. But anyway, um... I seen thief and stealing, so I was gonna say I was gonna open up the reading and be like, it may be be mindful though because there's some thieving and stealing going on. But I was like, I'm not about to put that energy out there. Okay, I don't even want to talk about this right now. But it's in here. It's in here heavy. But it's also a relationship as well too. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if there's a thief. This was from the last reading. I never like I put it up, so I'm gonna just randomly try to put this in here. I don't know if someone's a thief around you when it comes to this relationship, trying to take it away from you, because that's kind of like the last reading. What was kind of been said? Somebody was trying to stop you from being with this person, or there's yeah, I know how. Anyway, however it resonates. Let's see how this reading go. Put your seatbelt on. I said this on a couple of readings ago, sitting in this fucking car. I said, somebody better put their seatbelt on. They're going for a fucking ride. And in my head, I said, if this car come out, it's going to be fucking... Put your seatbelt on. You better to go for a ride, bitch. <laughs> What's up with the thief, though? And I ain't judging y'all. I ain't judging y'all. Y'all get how y'all live. I ain't never judged nobody. But for me, I be like, damn, if you a thief, though, are you going to steal from me? Right? Like, do you have integrity? In, is that how you say it? What example to what the fuck it is that you do? Because sometimes motherfuckers be getting it how they live it. And I don't know. I don't know. But night of swords, so... I don't know if you need to block this person, if you need to make some type of action, fast movement, or there's about to be some type of fast movement or communication. For some of you guys, I don't, if this person trying to charge at you and come at you with some shit, let's just see. Is the thief trying to come at you with some bullshit? I don't know. Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they bet they're going to tire themselves out. See, this is a hothead. Both these Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands are the hotheads. It's kind of like the, the teenagers. They got a teenage mentality. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. A hothead. A hothead. But this person's going to burn themselves out. They don't know when to stop, though. Like, they take all the energy that they have and they use it for the negative. Y'all get what I'm saying? They put all their energy in some 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 crazy shit. I 
be mindful of somebody trying to steal your essence as well too seven of cups with the illusion and the games that they're playing it could even be through spell work or black magic they could even have a lot of options a lot of suitors they could even be trying to come in and just take and steal from you i don't know why i'm here invite what is the like what i don't even think that's the right word vitality vi, vi, I, I don't know something with a v but anyway yeah maybe i gotta look that shit up y'all not me because i ain't i don't is that the right word here we got school the answer that you're seeking involves going to school so some of you guys going i did a reading like this before and I said, you may be thinking about going to school. You need to do it. You're going to do very well with whatever it is that you're going to school for. Because um, somebody might be scared. Like, you know, if I, some people, you know, they put a lot of time and energy in going to school and doing certain things. And they don't even, like, start a career or do nothing with it. And that could be your fear. But that's not going to be your issue. I don't think that's going to be your issue. And I feel like this person even knows that. You're going to be very successful with this. You could even spend a lot of time, too, on finally deciding what it is that you wanted to go do. And they seen that and they know that. And they ready to, they ready to pull some bitch shit on you. Because they jealous. And they not ready to settle down. And they got options. I feel like now they're, like, in a secret competition with you. I hope not, though, bruh. I'm tired of this shit. I thought we was going good. We got brother or sister. No, this is the same reading. Okay, I'm about to possibly just stop the reading. So I'll probably just do one more at completely. But um, it's a brother or sister. They... they uh, you got to cut a brother or sister off. You got to. They don't got your best interest. But then we got partnership. So also that's two of cups. Now for some of you guys, I just got a whole nother vibe. For some of you guys, you got a thieving ass brother or sister. And you may be that person that comes into their life to stop them from making the decisions and the actions that they've been making. You may be the guidance and the, the partner the, the guidance that they need and the mentor that they need to get them on the right track. You may even be going to school with them. They may be, like, some of you guys may be, like, older going to school and them seeing you going to school. They may make them feel some type of way and be like, okay, I need to step up on this and maybe I need to go to school. Like, I don't know, maybe y'all got a certain bond or connection. Y'all gonna help each other out. But now I'm feeling like you gonna help this person, like, change their lifestyle around. For some of you, okay, let's see. Don't react when people mention you. Now, this that other vibe. What the fuck they mean? They don't react. Some of you guys got to cut a brother or sister off. They act like they don't even fucking know you. Hold the fuck up. Y'all, this shit threw me for a loop. These readings lately been doing it. That's why I was like, hold on, let me just do one more. Because I ain't no telling what the fuck really about to come up. Okay, that's why I give it 15 minutes now. Um... My nose itching, too. Y'all got a brother or sister out here in these streets that uh they don't associate with you. None whatsoever. They don't fuck with you. And they jealous of your partnerships and your relationships. They jealous of you. Child. They talk shit about you. Like, every, they go against all your connections and bonds. They try to do, ooh. You know what? Like, maybe you're going to have to forgive this person to forgive yourself to move on because maybe you really love this person and care about this person. You can't fuck with them. Child. They don't know when to stop either. Like, they really have it out for you. Maybe they feel like you get too much attention. Let me try to... You've been pulling from a... And then body work. What the fuck? It came out in another reading. From today, this series of seeing right here in this car, the past, like, two hours, I've been sitting in my fucking car, okay? Because it probably been a little longer than that now. They, they, something, what they do or how they body is, their tattoos or something sticks out very significant. For some of you guys, 
this person has a brother or a sister that that's envious of them that have been trying to get in the way of strength. So you're gonna have to have a lot of courage. Ooh, now I feel like this has been the other way that maybe I wasn't. For some of you guys, you this person may have been thinking that she was sleeping with a brother or sister. Some of you guys, they have a brother or a sister or a cousin, somebody in their family that may like you. Now, for some of you guys, some of you guys, this person, my last reading, this person was trying to blackmail you. Maybe somebody, they are open. I'm going to put it like that when it comes to certain things and sexuality and certain uh, whatever. Maybe this person thought they had one up on this person when it came to you and your sexuality. But they really don't. I'm thinking for you, maybe some of you guys, I don't know. Maybe you, I don't know, you guys. But I don't think it's going to work. But you, somebody's going to have to have a lot of courage and strength to tame themselves against something. Possibly that comes out. Or this person. I don't think it's a desire temptation. Some of you guys, do you desire this person? Y'all, why? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to receive the highest energy of all. I don't think so. I don't think it's a desire like that. For a second, I kind of did. I don't know. It might be for some of y'all. I'm not going to be since I'm okay. But for some of you guys, I think it's a desire or temptation to lash out on this person. Because of the shit that they've been doing and possibly how they've been handling shit behind closed doors or treating you because something's gonna come out and i'm thinking of just my past couple of readings something is about to come out that you're gonna see you're gonna be like yeah i don't need to fuck with you i can't fuck with you they all up in your business trying to manipulate you and it could be something where it'd be like your person already know about this but your person could have possibly been keeping this person around thinking that they just have the scoop on you right this person could have been using this person just to get information on you knowing i mean just to find out they really don't have nothing much on you they just jealous of you they trying to get close to them to split y'all up and make y'all ha make you um unhappy. I forgot what I was trying to say. Mm. I don't know. But spirits are always around. So somebody is very spiritual. And I feel like you're very spiritually protected. And somebody sees that. They can't really fuck with you. Somebody got an envious fucking sibling, bruh. Quit demanding more than what you can do. Yeah, so this person makes it seem like they're better than you, but they can't even do half the shit that, that you can do. Like, they can't. They feel like they, they try to, they've they been trying to prove themselves to make it seem like they're a better person. You're on the right path. You're doing what you're doing because it's working. And whatever it is that you're doing is working. They, ain't, they can't do it. No, like, whatever you're doing, they try to make it seem like whatever it is that you were doing... You wasn't supposed to be doing it. You not on the right path. You was going to throw them off the right path. No, you what they need to elevate and to move forward. Like, the fuck? Let me see. Ace of Cups in reverse. Whoo, but they trying to split this shit up. Or they could have caused this to split. They could have caused a split up or like a ending between the same thing. Or like this new beginning that was supposed to start. They could have tried to halt it. Because that's also a new beginning that was there, but somebody's not ready. The tower in reverse. Mm. They feel like they're trying to stop something from getting exposed. And I feel like it's them that was trying to, or possibly sleeping with this person. So now they feel like now they're getting blackmailed or something of that nature. I don't know how the fuck that shit goes. Or they felt like they was trying to, again, if this is this person's sexuality, they may have even felt like they were trying to stop you from having a tower moment with this person thinking that you possibly didn't know about their sexual ways i feel like i'm repeating my fucking self and i'm gonna pull one last card to try to get some different codependencies i'm repeating myself so there's some type of codependencies that was affecting this situation. Somebody had some type of codependencies and they let that fuel this situation. They was enticing that shit. I got some this, I got some that. Whatever they were trying to do. Maybe they was addicted to... And y'all know, and I'm a real ass reader, so I'm gonna just put it like this because I'm not judging nobody. 
maybe this person was addicted to the opposite sex doing certain things to them or maybe they was addicted to a certain drug that made them do this or maybe they just addicted to a certain drug and this person always had that drug and maybe they tried to entice this person under that influence maybe this person was just addicted to a certain lifestyle that this person had and they tried to but i feel like it was a fake lifestyle they just tried to do what you was trying to do but better but they couldn't keep up with that shit no more and they could have possibly realized that somebody was yeah no anyway but i feel like i said this my last reason so i'm gonna go and i'm over 15 i'm 15 39 15 40 it's time for me to go i love you guys so much take care